Well, good evening and welcome back. Hope you had a chance to enjoy some of this nice, cool weather that we've had here today. A little cloudy to start, but the sun has come out. Temperatures have not recovered very far, though, as we've gone into the upper 70s here in Lexington. Our current temperature is 76 with a northeast wind coming at us at 11 miles an hour. We'll continue to feel on the cooler side of things. Temperatures across the bluegrass continuing to be in those low 70s, especially as we get further to the southeast. You can see we're barely touching 70 here as we go into this evening. Now, as we look at low temperatures tonight, it's another night where we're expecting to get you back into those low 50s for most. Maybe some upper 50s where clouds had settled in earlier. We are going to see some partly cloudy conditions develop again overnight. But then tomorrow we're going to jump right back up towards those summertime temps. This is about average for us for this time of the year. Low 80s for most off from the southern part of the state. We're going to try to get you to the mid to upper 80s here across the northern half. Either way, it's just the beginning of what is going to be a warm up for us. Now football gets going here for us for the Wildcats on Saturday, and it's going to be a great one. 9.45 a.m. is the catwalk. We're going to have temperatures between 70 and 80 by that time. We're going to quickly warm to the mid-80s by noon, and then as we're getting out, Things are going to be closer to 90 for us. Not quite football weather, but still toasty enough and still feeling good. Now, that's the theme we're going to have across the board. September 1st, tomorrow, 86. Then we go 90, 91, 92 into Labor Day. Each day, partly cloudy to mostly sunny. The kicker, we're not going to be dealing with a ton of that humidity. That's what the next big thing is for us. It's this giant ridge of high pressure already starting for us as we get into the rest of this week and into the weekend. And it just very slowly meanders across into the east eastern part of the United States. That's when summer comes back. The norm above normal temperatures come back and we get 90 plus for more than just those three to four days over the weekend. We're going to get it going Tuesday and the hottest day likely around Tuesday or Wednesday in the mid 90s. Again, the kicker is that we're not going to be dealing with the humidity. Now we are going to start to see a slow decline at the second half of the week. Average high temperatures though for us this time of the year is still in the mid 80s. So not terribly above that average, but enough to keep us happy for summertime feels. Now we got high pressure in the area at the surface too. tropical storm Adelia now well off into the Atlantic and we're going to continue to be dealing with all sunshine all the time. Now there is another disturbance to the south that is going to at least kick up a little bit of cloud cover at times for us as we go into early Friday. Probably not dealing with any rain in the afternoon opening back to the sunshine and repeating that as we head into our Saturday as well. Again that surface high pressure will help develop some clearer conditions for us into the weekend overall. So the forecast is fantastic. Get the Fox 56 Weather Authority app to keep up to date with this forecast all the way through your Labor Day and you'll be able to track that out on there as we get into next week as well when that heat starts to settle in. That's what our seven day forecast is all about. Really not a whole lot to talk about. The next changes look to be further down the line Thursday where we might get a little bit of some isolated